Hello, it's Julie from Love's Beginning, and I'm trying something new today. This is the audio version of my blog post. It's always time for unmasking, and I am attempting to do make this recording while my two three-year-olds play in the background. So if you hear the sound of children, that's what's going on, um, but I hope this still works. The violins are playing. Couples are swinging across the dance floor, and the clock strikes midnight. It's time for the great unmasking. You're about to see who everyone is. It's always midnight in this grand ball we decided to enact, and it's always time for the unmasking. What lies beyond the mask, always? Pure consciousness. To judge another on any other basis than that is madness, always. But we always have the option to choose madness. We will never, ever be blocked from that option. But over time, our strong preference leads us to abide in the awareness that pure consciousness is what everyone is, without exception. In every human interaction, in thought or in person, if you remember the pure consciousness you are and all others truly are, what can come into that space? Unfettered by assumptions based on the past, healing can come into that space. Healing will always come where it is invited. Joy will always come where it is invited. It's just that if you're going to choose judgment and struggle instead, you have freely chosen something that obscures the healing and joy that is always available. You are free, always, to make that choice. First, you look beyond your current beliefs and judgments and ideas about limits to realize that you do have a choice in every moment. Then you experiment with setting those down, with realizing the happiness and peace that has always been there for you. Then you get better at this. You remember more often to set the limits and beliefs down. You remember what is always there for you, as you, as the true identity of everyone else, always accessible. You begin to abide in the space that is unfettered, always. In fact, you realize that you have been unfettered, always, and that's when you experience, and that when you experience limitation, it is always by your free choice. When you begin to abide in this space, you can invite others into it energetically, naturally. You radiate it out without theory. Just look at any happy person and what she shares. It is effortless. That is why your happiness always comes first. You cannot share it otherwise. The way you find this happiness is through relationship. So saying that your happiness comes first is not a selfish thing. Rather, you learn to find it in relationship with others without asking them to change and conform. Anything at all can come into a space that is opened up for healing, and this is how miracles happen. People simply set down the limits to which they have clung before. Limits are always based in past experience, but all the power of creativity comes from the now. The now is the formless coming into form, and forms are always very flexible. If we are very insistent about form has to be limited, form complies. If we remember how limitless and open form is, form complies. Limits are chosen based on ideas of deservingness rooted in the past. In this moment, however, everyone is always fresh, new, clean, and fully worthy. Into that space, inspiration is free to dance and act through you to be shared with others. Remember two things. You always have a choice, and happiness comes by invitation. Bask in this simplicity today. Thanks for joining me.